Okay, so there's two mandatory plugins that you need. The first one's Virelight, which allows you to make the artificial light. The second one is World Edit, that allows you to create the regions uh, for the light. And then an optional one that I use is called uh, Head Database. And it, um, it's a menu of a bunch of the heads and you can use uh, different blocks and create those into lights as well. So now we can hop into the game and we'll show you how to use some of this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is slash slash wand, which this uh, is the wand where you can select the regions. So as you see in chat, it says to select the first position. You just do a left click and select the right one. You do a right click. And now we can look at the commands for Virelight. So <laughs> basically the Virelight clear, just uh, you can clear a region with the light in it. Then the config allows you to edit the configuration file. Then you can use the Virelight uh, save, which just saves uh, all the data, I believe, but I think it does it automatically anyways. Uh, then you can update a region that already has the light in it uh, with that command. And then you can uh, do the debug if you're having issues, I guess. And then the one that I always use is just the fill command. So we uh, can go in here and select uh, two areas. So we'll select that one and go to the other side of the room and select the bottom block right here. And then you just do fill command with wirelight. So there's actually different light levels and it goes from 1 to 15. So I'll do 12 for this. And as you can see, it just lights the room up and you can see everything. So um, this is like a great uh, plugin for just lighting up dark rooms or if you have a cave, you can use that as well. So now I'll actually show you um, some ideas I have with the head database plugin. So I'm going to go switch over to that. Okay, so as you can see, I got rid of all the light in there. So now we'll use the head database command so you just do slash hbd and that will bring up uh, the GUI for it so there's a lot of different blocks you can use and this just uses the player head that people can customize so we're gonna go to oh I can't use local okay so we're gonna have to use the search command so we'll use head database search and then you can use a uh, Let's see, I'll use the lamp. I've done this one before, so. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bunch of different blocks you can use. So I'll just grab a couple of them. So I'll just um, place these in some spots. Okay, we'll leave that somewhere else. Um, I'll just turn up the brightness quickly so I can see. Okay. So I'm just going to place these around in some spots. And this might take longer to do, but in the end it does look a lot better. So we'll put those there. So what you need to do now is you just select that block. Oh, and you do the fill command again. And I'll use 15 for this. Okay, that's right. So you need to actually light up the block underneath of it, <clears throat> which kind of just like um, mimics it being lit up, but it still works. So you can't actually do the block itself because uh, Virelight doesn't register it. It's an invalid block for it. So we'll just actually do all these. So we've got those ones lit up. Um, We'll do that as well. Okay, so now we got all those light, uh, lights on. So I'll turn the brightness back down. And this actually makes the lighting look a lot better. 
so you can see how that looks. And then I guess for if you want to have like a more futuristic one or something like that, you can just actually light slabs up as well. And it looks like a floating light here, which is pretty neat. I'll add some more over here. So you just got to make sure you select the block underneath of it, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so yeah, th this does look a lot better. There's so many options you can use rather than using torches. And then you can even like, you know, have wall lights as well. So, you know, you can probably go like wild with your imagination to create like a bunch of different lights. So, yep, this is what it looks like now. It's a lot better. And yep, that's everything for this video. So if you actually have any questions or anything, just uh, comment below and I'll be able to get back to you. But thanks for watching the video and have a good one.